All right, we're back like we never left. Sagittarius, welcome back to the channel. It's me, OU, with another channel tarot card message for you today. We're going to get right into it, man. I like the vibes right now. We got some good vibes. Perfect for some uh, intuitive messages. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, add value to the channel so that we continue to grow. Bring other cross watchers into the ring as well. Make sure you check your moon rising, Venus, and North Node placements as well. Mm. Yeah, let's get into it. Let's see what the universe has to say in regards to your current energies that's coming towards you. What's the advice? What's the therapeutic session? Let's go. Lysia's deck. Okay. You need jumpers? What's the message today for Sagittarius Fire Sign Spirit? Messages for Fire Sign Sagittarius Spirit. Uh, what we have at the bottom of the deck for you wheel of fortune mm, jackpot fortune smile destiny fate mm. a win now this could also be travel as well right this could be some sort of a lucky moment or um this is an opportunity for you to make um well major arcanas are about major changes so this is an opportunity for you to either create abundance or shift your destiny or something like that that's what i'm getting something like on the 3d realm you will hear people say govern yourselves or you will be governed right <laughs> strength yeah so you show you're showing great strength in a situation of someone around you showing great strength again govern yourself right your own internal strength right for me that's strength is internal you could actually be um in some sort of a fight right now possibly this is like a prize fight if i'm if i'm getting the message right but yeah someone is someone's uh Okay, so this could be ancestral uh, DNA coding as well, or something like that. This could be like, um, what do you call it? Like um, a will, or some sort of a passing down of a heirloom, or um, finances, or something like that. Could be anything. Could be a home or a car. But we have Leo here. Yeah, then we have Emperor, the Divine Masculine, Aries energy, so Major Arcana. Eight of Swords. Maybe someone doesn't feel like they deserve this or they can't believe it's true. They're caught in their heads mentally. Now, this could be an art. Someone's arguing with themselves. <laughs> yeah, this could be someone arguing with this or just stuck in their heads about something. They could be wanting to. Um, this could be pregnancy. Like um, this could be a fear of pregnancy or, or, or something like that. Or a lack of accountability when it comes to sexuality or business is what I'm getting. Okay, this is weird. Queen of Cups. Yeah, someone's throwing their hands up and surrendering. Oh, wow. I wasn't even paying attention here. We got the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine. The Emperor and the Empress come up. Mm -hmm. They're spiritualists or they have water signs somewhere in their chart. But Divine Masculine, Aries, Fire Sign Energy. And then Libra, Taurus, the, the Empress. So this is a, a twin flame union, divine partnership, of course, or someone has come into union with themselves. They found um, they pretty much body, mind and soul coming into union. They, they're um, realizing their um, fullest potential. They respect themselves. They know how valuable they are. Or uh, they could have met, uh, met a divine masculine or a divine feminine. Right. That's teaching them to come out of this type of situation. Right. It reminds me of uh, reminds me of something I just saw. This could be a bunch of women competing for the affections of men, right? Everyone has their own way of doing it. <laughs> Every man has his own different way of approaching a woman, right? You could sit in these echo chambers and talk about, oh, that's how he did it? Oh, he lame, bruh. Uh, or are we going to say, oh, go into 100 women's faces in public and see who's going to give you a number? <laughs> right? The numbers game. You approach 100 women and get turned down by 99 of them and you got one. No, no one ain't got time for that shit. Right. <laughs> right. That, that's your you're messing up your own uh, confidence here. That's not how you gain confidence. You're building up a pretty much a resistance of being told no. <laughs> so it's the opposite. <laughs> you're beating yourself down so bad to where you don't even care. This is like being hurt. A woman being a heartbreak so much that now she's numb. She doesn't even care for a relationship. She just sleeps around <laughs> like it's kind of the energy that I'm getting here. Right. 
let's see romantic cup offered uh, to you by this knight of cups trying to bring you out of this eight of swords right this could be someone trying to take someone out of their comfort zone take someone out of their city take someone out of their state something like that yeah this person has never seen anything like this before that's probably why they're so um tied up like this this would be like a kid in the candy shop right <laughs> I'm almost getting Aladdin whole new world vibes. Right. Jasmine, didn't Jasmine have a tiger? Nala. Aladdin and Jasmine will be considered divine masculine, divine feminine, right? Let them tell it in the Disney bedtime stories. Like Belle and the Beast would be divine masculine, divine feminine, right? There's magic surrounding these relationships. Seven of Pentacles on top of Empress. Yeah, someone wants to put in... Uh, someone could be seven months pregnant, but someone wants to deposit. <laughs> someone wants to deposit something here. Um, typically, the Seven Pentacles would donate, um, like, uh, finances, waiting on something, uh, like a timeout period or something like that. Mm -hmm. But this is a harvest. Someone's gardening here. They're cultivating something. We got Knight of Swords on top of Queen of Cups. So someone talking about uh, someone is delivering or could be writing a note or sending a message about healing. Yeah, this could be a doctor's note or this could be some sort of a, a vacation. I'm not sure if it's a spiritual. It could be spiritual. We have the strength out here. It's like a retreat here, like uh, someone's detoxing here. It's like a 12 step program without the 12 step program. It's just a, a vacation pretty much. Yeah, someone's getting So someone's leaving their area. They're, 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 they're getting outside of their comfort zone. Yeah, this would be like um, going to Hawaii for a vacation or something like that or whatever the case may be. Going to like a massage, taking a day out to get, to get pampered or something like that. Yeah. Leaving behind toxicity, leaving behind gossip, right? Leaving behind work even, right? We think we work in our jobs and our jobs are working us. We got six of pentacles, reciprocation, right? Valuing uh, yourself, valuing your time, valuing your money, right? Even the people and the connections that you have. The emperor. If the emperor approaches you, he sees something valuable in you, right? Reciprocate with the emperor. This is also a CEO in business. Someone could be trying to teach you entrepreneurship or come towards you with some sort of a business opportunity, right? And I keep seeing uh, DNAs and seed here. I keep saying deposit. We got six of, six of pinnacles and seven of pinnacles. <laughs> keep getting a whole new world vibes. He's sitting on his own planet, right? Men are from Mars. Women are from Venus. <laughs> Let's see. Well, how do they have sex if they're on two different planets? <laughs> Spiritually? Psychically? <laughs> right? Mm. Strong spiritual vibes here, though. The high priestess, that's Cancer Major Arcana. We could have someone very nurturing, right? A sexy mother here. Could be a sexy teacher. <laughs> what else is this? Getting interesting um, ideas flowing into my brain right now. Let's see. Yeah, it was a lot of things that did in medieval times that we can't do nowadays, so I can't say that, spirit. Let's see. Four of Cups. <clears throat> this might be a turn off to you or the person that. Okay, so the person that. That's trying to, uh, I'm not sure they're trying to court you, but you maybe possibly have gotten into an argument with this person in the past. They owe you some sort of an apology or something like that. That's what I'm getting, or that's how someone is feeling. They invested something into a relationship, maybe a friendship or a business, uh, and they're not receiving the accolades that they uh, are supposed to be getting. This could also be, um, this could also be, um, dang it, my vocabulary is so terrible. This is why I need to detox. There's so much distraction. Six of Cups. Definitely a child here. This could be someone that you've known for a long time. Maybe a childhood friend. Someone that thinks about you a lot. They're trying to develop their own opinions about you here. They're coming towards you. They may try to come towards you. Are they going to come towards you? I don't think they're going to come towards you. Six of Cups. Judgment on the Queen of Cups. Now we have the Knight of Cups, which does symbolize um, 
trying to get your your thoughts out or get your words out some sort of an address again it could be a, an email or something like that or again somebody could be rushing to you to say something to you yeah i think it's more of like um different stories maybe someone that you've known for a long time um wants to come they're either thinking about you or having memories about you and then we have someone else coming towards you here uh with a love offer wanting to build memories with you here they're making a judgment call to do so right so this could be like a sudden change or um, a sudden decision that they made uh, or in a, a different course of action that different from that difference that differs from their usual uh, thought process. Yeah, they thought about it here. They even probably talked about it with other people. Probably got some sort of a second opinion from a therapist or something like that. An intuitive. Yeah, this is in regards to young love here. Now, this is a uh, youthful optimism, right? Super optimistic. This could even be love. Yeah, someone's coming towards you with love here. Or they're enamored with you here. They see you as some sort of a muse, right? A woman can see not only... We know women are beautiful, but a woman can also see a man as a muse, right? We know these little girls be falling in love with their teachers. Y'all better watch y'all daughters. <laughs> uh, I wonder who started the whole teacher's pet thing anyway, giving the teacher an apple. Let's see. Nine of Swords. This would be some sort of a fear of mental toxicity here. Um, with the Strength and High Priestess, the Nine of Swords. Someone is too much for someone here. It may not be equally yoked. Yeah, that's the difference between a, a teacher and a student or a child and a parent or an older person and a younger person. There's a difference in physical appearance. There's a difference in intuitive capabilities, right? Intelligence. Someone may not may feel like they're not on the same equal playing field as someone. There's some there's some air of a lack of a confidence here because strength will be confidence. You know, I don't read upside down cards, but I can still feel the negative energy. The nine of swords here. It's a lack of confidence here. For me, it would be a lack of beauty sleep. God damn it. <laughs> What else do we got? Uh, let's read the majors. High Priestess, Strength. So we're dealing with a Cancer, a Leo. We have the Divine Masculine and Divine uh, Feminine here. Aries, Taurus, Libra. Judgment. Libra again, a judgment call. So yeah, calling in your soulmate is what I'm getting. Mm -hmm. Yep. Twin Flame Union. This is a strong connection. It's going to last for a long time. Strong, powerful connection that you guys have together. And that is what I have for you here today, Sagittarius. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed. Again, like, share, subscribe, add value to the channel. Anything else I want to mention here? Six of Pentacles, Six of Cups. We do know for me, nines are my sixes. So, yeah, this person can't wait to get towards you, build some sort of a foundation with you, provide equal give and take. This could even be sex as well, sleeplessness, right? <laughs> you can't get no sleep when you're manifesting right <laughs> children and all this type of stuff building memories like share subscribe add value to the channel catch you on the next one peace